Well, a special edition of Reuben on the Road, Reuben heads to Perryton, meets up with a legendary author behind Hank the Cowdog. I grew up in Perryton and uh, graduated from high school there in 62. When I was growing up, we just didn't know that uh, a kid from the Panhandle could dream of being a writer. My first book was called Through Time in the Valley, and it came out in 1978, and the publishers in New York were not interested in my zip code. Finally, I quit sending off manuscripts to New York and started writing about what I was doing. I was working as a ranch cowboy, and I knew a lot about it. I started writing for Livestock Weekly out of San Angelo and the Cattleman Magazine out of Fort Worth. That's how I stumbled into the Hank stories. I was writing humor articles for the Cattleman magazine. One of them was called Confessions of a Cow Dog, and it was about a dog I'd known on a ranch in Oklahoma Panhandle, Beaver County, and a dog named Drover who, who lived on a, the ranch I was working on south of Perryton. And there was a cat named Pete, and I put those animal characters together with a guy named Slim Chance, who was kind of me, and uh, High Loper, which was more or less Tom Elsey, the guy I was working with, and his wife. I called her Sally Mae. I had no idea that there was magic in those characters. But when I went out and read my stories aloud in Perryton, uh, I could test them out on audiences. And they just roared with laughter. I was shocked. But it gave me the idea of writing a whole book about the Hank characters. I didn't know if I could do it, but I gave it a try, and I did. So I started just selling my books in Perryton, and I branched out to Spearman and Booker and Guyman, Oklahoma, and Liberal, Kansas, and eventually made my way to a school in Hereford. And uh, that was the beginning of my knowledge that uh, I was writing children's stories, because I did not intend to write children's stories. I don't know anything about writing children's stories. I was writing my best licks as an author my best attempts to write stories that were accurate about cowboy life and ranch life and, and also funny. So Hank is not a human in a dog suit. He, he is a dog. Hank is not very smart, but he has a, a good heart. And uh, that's, I think, a very important quality to have in literature. It's been a very rewarding and wonderful career. It started off slowly and uh, we went through a lot of hard times. But it was the people in little towns in the Panhandle and on down in South Plains. That's my core audience. I write for those people. And nobody in Hollywood has ever had a chance to do a trashy movie about Hank because we won't let them. It would be an insult to you because I helped raise you on Hank books in Hereford. And for all the kids in Lubbock and Seminole and Plainview that were raised on Hank books, it would be a betrayal of their trust for us to let Hollywood trash uh, something that's beautiful. 